The Hebrew term, the Hebrew term divok, D-I-V-O-C. And interestingly, if you spelled that in reverse portion, C-O-V-I-D, it equates to a different word altogether. But the Hebrew term D-I-V-O-C means the possession of the pernicious soul. It is a compound word that also translates as a package, a bundle, or discrete part. It can also mean to tear apart, to separate, or to annihilate. Some conveniences in the U.S. say the name gathers the commitment of a person to a poisonous soul. Other words that are related to this word include dibuk and COVID, which stands for coronavirus disease. In Hebrew, the word divok, D-I-V-O-C, means the possession of a demon. This name is also referred to as possessed by an evil spirit. There are a, there are a few other possible meanings for the name divak, but they all refer to the same thing, the evil soul. If you were to try to find out what possessed the person, you'd be able to tell how the person got that name. In Hebrew, the word divak means possession of an evil spirit. It is believed that the name is derived from the word dibuk, D-Y-B-B-U-K. A dibuk is the soul of a deceased person or an evil one. They are said to possess a poor evolved creature, a lower life form. That is usually the types of life forms, containers that are open to these evil entities. This term has an interesting origin in the Bible. The term is an English adaptation of a Hebrew term that means possession. Divok is a common name in English, but its Hebrew meaning varies. The term means possessed by an evil spirit and has a wide range of interpretation. Depending on your beliefs and cultural background, the name can be a sign of possession of an evil spirit. If the person possesses an evil spirit, it might be the soul of the person. Hence, it is not uncommon for a person to possess an evil spirit. The word divok comes from the Hebrew word dibok, as I mentioned earlier, and is a variation a demon spirit that inhabits the soul of humans, the demon has the ability to control people by destroying their will. However, in other languages, as Dibok possesses a body, it is an evil spirit in the opposite sex. Incubus, succubus, this makes it a very rare and unlucky thing. According to the dictionary, Dibok, D-I-V-O-C, means possessed by evil spirits. While it has no direct connection to the English word, it is a close cousin of COVID, the word is spelled C-O-V-I-D. If you spell it backwards, its pronunciation is the same as the original, but it's just a different version of the word. The word divok, D-I-V-O-C, comes from the Hebrew word divok. It is a type of demon, as I mentioned. The name divok is a Hebrew word. It means possessed. Can't say it enough. The word divok has a wide variety of meanings. The word divok means a divorce, D-I-V-O-C, as well as some Hebrew etymology. During the Middle Ages, people considered divorce as a legal separation from a spouse. The word divorce is a result of a court order allowing a couple to get divorced. But it didn't happen in the Bible. It's in the Bible, but in the early days, the Hebrew word had no divorce. The Hebrews had no divorce laws. So it's more of a religious, spiritual, uh, etymological origin. So, Again, the word divak comes from the Hebrew word dibuk, D-Y-B-B-U-K. In Hebrew, a dibuk is an evil spirit that lives on earth. It is often believed to be the soul of a human or a person who is evil. In both cases, the name means possessed soul. So the name is an adjective in English. The first form of the term is possessed, while the second form is possessed. And it is important to realize that not all is of the love and light, that is of love and light, 
There are many among us here that are possessed evil entities, dark uh, system agents, matrix agents, possessions of, possessed of demon. Uh, so just a little bit of a uh, uh, spiritual technology to leave with you to consider uh, how insidious these programmings, these negative artificial intelligence, digital matrix, how, how exactly insidiously evil um, when you consider that the word COVID is a, actually a Hebrew word and it has its uh, correlations with the term divak, which means the possession of the pernicious soul. All right, so hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for further uh, information, disseminations, and video offerings from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion, strength, and spiritual technology. Namaste. Namaskaram.